Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Robert of The Daily Trader. It is February 3rd, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, Tesla does not want to get out of this channel, so it has not gotten out of the channel yet. So we closed, uh, we closed at 891.14, down $14.52. Post market, we seem to be up by 14 bucks at 905. Let's look at what we have here on the chart. So for the past two days, we have been trying to get out of this channel. So we are coming out a little bit during the day, but then we are closing inside of it at the end of the day. Today, it's pretty much the same thing, but today is a bit different in terms that we went quite a bit outside of the channel during the day, but then were squished pretty bad down low to 900 and something to 891. Let me give you this support right here. So this is, this is 879. So this 879 support, this is the thick support here. So 879 is really an important support. This is one example that really shows that the even numbers are nice, but uh, they are sometimes not the real uh, resistance and support. So 879 is really important here. We have been above 879 at the close for the past five days. I am thinking that maybe we are not going under 879. I don't know. This is just a guess. I don't act on my guesses. I try to act on what is happening. Check it very closely tomorrow. Check the slow very closely tomorrow. Also, the fact that we are bouncing a little bit here with the post market at 15 bucks above at 906. I feel uh, I have the hunch that the stock is trying to get out, but I don't know what kind of news is going to come out of it. I don't know. Let's go see the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, uh, this was the first candle of the day, nice green candle, bringing the stock back to 930 or very close. But then we just came down, 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 down. And on the one hour chart, we are still inside the resistance, inside the second one, but outside of the first one. So on the hourly chart, this is what we have here. So uh, this one is green and this other one is uh, red. In terms of indicators, everything is very low. It's not time to get in yet, in my opinion. We need a clean break outside. We need a clean break outside, either preferably on the daily chart. But even then, even if we have a break outside, it's only going to mean that the downward trend has ended. It does not necessarily mean that the stock will start to go up. So we need to be careful with that. But still. This is a prerequisite. We need to came out of that channel before we can start thinking about going sideways and of course going up. Let's look at the uh, indicators on the daily chart. So everything is uh, bearish except MACD is getting close to crossing over bullish. So that might be our first sign that things are might, that things might be, things might be changing a little bit. Let's uh, briefly look at our indicator. So Dow Jones, Dow Jones, look at this perfection again. So Dow Jones this week started to go back up, but it had to cross this resistance and boom, it caved, it caved into it. S&P, pretty much the same thing. It looked like we had this uh, channel here. We came right up to this resistance, caved in. NASDAQ composite uh, caved in in the big way. Huh? So remember what I said here, this is a break outside of this resistance right here yesterday, but stochastic is low. So I did not trust that. And what did happen? It uh, came back down. NASDAQ 100, the same thing. So all of the indices uh, seem to be getting back down after uh, having uh, done a pullback. So everything is still in a downtrend. All of the indices are still in a downtrend. So Dow Jones, S&P 500, NASDAQ Composite, and NASDAQ 100. This is just interesting information. Let's see how Tesla reacts to that. Last but not least, uh, let me show you. ARK Invest has bought a little bit of shares uh, yesterday. 
And I am showing you ARK Invest has a lot of innovative funds and uh, Tesla is number one in terms of their holdings. So they have uh, $1.3 billion in Tesla. But this is just interesting because ARK Invest had a lot of success last year. So their funds grew a lot. So a lot of people started following what they are doing. So when ARK Invest in Tesla, I feel like many other funds are following what she's following. So it's just, it's just an interesting uh, data point. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.